Hi, welcome to Blah Beauty. Um, first of all, I want to start off by saying that I just literally started my skincare video and um, you'll see once it's uploaded I am wearing exactly the same clothes and I'm wearing no makeup because I literally just moisturised. Um, but today's video will be about some of the items that I bought today and some of the items that I bought um, about two or three weeks ago. Um, so first of all, I started with the stuff that I bought today. Um, now apologies, you'll already see this when I upload my skincare video. But first of all, I have the most annoying skin ever. It's so red. Even when I put makeup on it, you can still see like a red rash. And you'll probably be able to see it now so I just moisturise. But it goes all the way around my face and it's just so irritating. And it becomes like really hot as well. So, um, I went on search today for a skin product that will help reduce the redness. And hopefully this does work. Um, it's the Clinique Redness Solution Cleanser. Um... And this is meant to, meant to, um, calm redness and irritation. It's oil free, which is great because I get a really bad oily T-zone. Um, maybe not so much on top of my head, but definitely along the bridge of my nose, I get it really bad. Um, so I started using that and hopefully in five days time, we should see some sort of improvement on my skin. Fingers crossed, because it cost a bomb. Um, now the next product that I'm going to show you is the Mild Clarifying Lotion, um, this is an exfoliator again, it's Clinique, um, and again it's another product which I've started using um, in my skincare routine. Um, the next product which I got today was, I've gone Clinique crazy, I don't know, it's the Clinique moisturizer surge intense um basically what i did with this product is i used um a mac 190 brush to apply the moisturizer with um simply because it just feels so much nicer it's so much smoother it glides around your face and it's better than using warm hands so that's what I used to apply the Clinique um, moisturiser. Um, another Clinique product which I got today was the Pore Refining Solutions. This is um, meant to give you a flawless look. And you can wear alone or over makeup, so it's up to you what you do. But it's meant to help the... Um, oily t-zone area so I'll be definitely applying a lot of that um, to make sure I don't look oily. Um, another product which I bought today again gone clinic crazy um, is number one Alabasta even better makeup SPF 15 evens and correct um, and again this is a meant to reduce redness there's the actual bottle and I don't know this is ooh. How does this work? Oh, okay. It's got like a little nozzle. You see a nozzle? It's quite cool. Never seen one of these before. And okay, yep. So there it is on my hand. You probably won't be able to really see that because it's quite, it's quite like. But it does glide on really well. Can you see? Yeah. So that's quite nice. Doesn't have much of a great smell though. Yeah. But it definitely does match my skin tone, which is great. Um, and this is actually, as I say, this is meant to reduce the redness um, on my skin. Um, now, something which I've never used before, and I I know that I should do really, um, is airbrush concealer. And again, it's Clinique. And this is... It, apparently it illuminates and perfects. No idea. I just just said, yeah, I'll have it. Let's go for it. I'll give anything a try once. And I, so I bought that. Um, and that's in number one fair colour. Now, obviously, everybody's skin colour is different. Everybody's got different tones to their skin. Um, but apparently I was fair. I don't know. Um, 
so they're the Clinique products that I bought today. See, as you can see, there was quite a few of them, and most of them are purely to help reduce the redness on my face. Um, now, some other products that I bought, not today, but um, I think about maybe a week and a half ago, possibly two, um, is some Benefit products. Now, I love Benefit, and um, the great thing about Benefit is they are so um, unique and vibrant I think their, their packaging is just out of this world and I think I do buy a lot of their products simply because of the packaging I don't I don't know I can't really I can't really tell but the first one I actually have bought is the Dallas bronzer I love Dallas bronzer it just makes me look like I've been on a permanent holiday and um, so there's the color and obviously you'll be familiar with the color if you buy that less all the time. It comes with its own little brush, so you can apply it. However, I don't use this brush. I use a thicker brush to put it on. Um, so that's that. Now another thing, again, as I say, I bought this product, Finding Mr. Bright. I simply bought it, I think, because of the packaging. It's just so funky and it's so colourful and it's a great accessory to have in your bag um, or when you're maybe travelling for the weekend. Um, now, this is all your minis. Um, and obviously, you can buy these products in larger versions, but these are the mini versions. So, it comes like that. And it comes with its own little mirror. And in this, um, you get... Girl Meets Pearl Liquid Pearl for Face. And funny enough, I literally just bought this um, online from feelunique.com in a larger version. Um, so I'm quite excited to actually um, use this. Now, I haven't even used this one, to be honest. Let's see the little things along the top. Um, but I can imagine it's really smooth when it goes onto your skin. At least well, that's what I hope it does anyway. Um, the next thing I have in the Finding Mr. Bright is the Poise Tint. And I think I've had this in a larger version. I can't really be sure. Um, but this is Poppy Pink Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. So you can use it on your cheeks or you can use it on your lips. Multi-use there. Um, high Beam. Again, I think I've had this in a larger version. Um, and this is great because it just gives it that extra, it gives you like an extra glow on your cheeks. And it's, you know, it's really, it's really cute. Um, now, I've never used this product before. Um, this is the Erase Paste. And it's in number two medium. Again, I think this is probably for under eyes to sort of maybe soften dark circles um, and possibly correct any blemishes that you have. Um, so that's that. And it's great because, as I say, it comes in this little package. You can literally take it anywhere you want, weekend, away trips, even put it in your bag for work. It's great. And I think it comes with its own little manual. Yeah, it comes with its own little manual. Um, so it tells you what all the products do um, and how to use them, which is great. Um, now, the next products that I have are from MAC. Now, I use um, MAC Studio Fix in NW25 all the time as my main, um, as my main foundation, as my main base. Um, but as I say, I'm going to be starting to use the Clinique um, Redness SPF um, Evens and Corrects Liquid Foundation. Um, obviously, just to try and see if it does actually help to reduce the redness on my face. Um, so here's the hoping. Um, the next MAC product that I have is... I think it's better in the sand. Is this colour here. It is a cream colour base in Shell Frost. Now... Um, when it says base, I assume that you can use it on your face. However, I've been using it on the top of my eyelids. Um, it's great because when you have, um, if you want to go for that subtle look, 
it's really really nice it gives it a nice sheen look it's nice and glowy and it really does highlight the eye area so that's really really nice maybe for an evening look if you want if you're going out um you don't want to be heavy full of makeup like dark colors that's really nice um my last product is um from lush i absolutely adore lush i love their bath bombs really like to the extent where if I had a bath every day, I'd put a bath bomb, yet, bomb, bomb inside the bath because it's just amazing. It just relaxes me and everything. Um, however, this is not a bath bomb I'm about to show you. This is the Bubblegum Lip Scrub. This is absolutely amazing. I just love it. Again, I don't know why I bought it. Possibly because of the colour. Possibly because it smells and tastes of bubblegum. It's crazy. I love it. It just... I think, I know what this is meant to do, this is actually um, to get dead skin off your lips, that's the only logical explanation what it can be used for, and it's like little granules, you really can't see that in this camera, but you just literally apply it to your lips, um, and it smooths and makes them soft, but I just tend to lick off, off the scrub, it's amazing, I could just eat the whole pot, I'm not going to, um, but I just could. Um, yeah, so basically everything you've seen here um, today I'm going to put in the um, below box um, and there'll be links to the products um, so you can probably see how much they are um, and get a good idea of what they actually do um, and see if it maybe works for you. I don't know. Um, so make sure you subscribe um, above and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.